From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I'm student meteorologist Dennis Krulov here with your Friday evening CNET forecast. So taking a look at the Beaver Stadium live camera at this hour, it seems like a cruel April Fool's joke with mostly cloudy skies, gusty winds and a few passing snow flurries. And that is no surprise as we have temperatures only sitting into the upper 30s right now with a feels like of 31 degrees so that wind chill is a little bit lower than the temperature because we do have winds coming out of the west at 15 miles per hour currently, making it feel a little bit colder than it actually is. Taking a look at weather headlines over the next few days, it's going to be a chilly Friday, but that's going to lead to a calmer weekend. We should see some sun come out by tomorrow and Sunday. And much warmer next week, we could see temperatures return into the 70s with mostly sunny conditions. I'll have more on that in a second. Anyway, tracking out the temperatures right now, across much of western PA, temperatures definitely sending into the mid to mid to upper 30s, maybe some low 40s, especially in area in Pittsburgh. Across central PA, generally into the upper 30s with Williamsport and Harrisburg sending into the upper 40s, and then further east, we have also temperatures sending in the low to upper 40s. Otherwise, just the same general theme going on. It's not too warm out there. It could be much warmer. And looking at that, departures from average so far today, um, much of the state is much as 10 to 20 degrees below average, feeling a lot colder than it should be. Temperature should be in the 50s at this time of year, at this time of day, not in the 30s and 40s. Taking a look at the current radar and satellite, we do have some snow showers across much of the northern tier. But then zooming out, we are also stuck in this um, unsettled pattern across much of the northeast with a ridge building across the central U.S. allowing for those clearer conditions. And that will be heading our way as we head into the weekend. And the wind speed is not a joke this afternoon either. We have wind speeds as much as 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then with that northwesterly flow, we're getting that colder air coming in from Canada, allowing it to feel a little bit colder than the air temperature this afternoon. So tracking out with future radar, we're going to see these snow showers continue until overnight. Not really impacting here in State College. We'll see a few breaks in the clouds tonight. As we head into tomorrow, um, not really much going on, maybe a few bits of precipitation, but otherwise just a mix of sun and clouds across our local region. Still with that northwesterly flow, we'll see those temperatures remain at a minimum. And then as we head into tomorrow night, into Sunday, we'll have the clear skies return, allowing for a much calmer pattern. So Sunday looks to be a beautiful day here in central PA. But as we head into Monday into Eclipse Day, we're going to have this warm front extend from a low pressure system out in Iowa, allowing for a return of clouds and maybe some light rain showers on Eclipse Day morning. But as we head towards totality or the maximum portion of the eclipse, we could have a few clouds stick around across central PA. But the best spot if you want to see totality with clearer skies, you want to go down to Ohio or Indiana or further east into New England where there could be the potential for clearer skies. But here in central PA, and especially western and eerie, um, I'll be looking out for the potential for clouds. And this calmer pattern will head to Tuesday with mostly sunny, cloud, sunny skies expected. Wednesday, we could have a few clouds building, but Thursday, we're going to have the most of our threat come in with the nexus and bring in the threat for precipitation, and that could linger well into Thursday afternoon. And our temperature outlook the next six to 10 days is going to be mostly above average temperatures, including our local areas highlighted in this probability for above average temperatures. So spring is definitely making a comeback after the last cold and dreary week we just experienced. So tonight, a low of 32 degrees, mainly cloudy and dry, gusts out of the northwest at 25 plus miles per hour, making it feel a little bit chilly. Bring out those winter coats if you're heading out in town tonight. For tomorrow, a high of 48 degrees with sunny and clouds, breezy with winds again out of the northwest at 25 plus miles per hour. Some stronger gusts for sure. And then as we head into your seven day outlook, as you can see, Tomorrow's really going to be the last chilly day because it's by Sunday will be temperatures warming up to the mid 50s with mostly sunny skies. For Eclipse Day, I'll be watching out for the forecast because there will be clouds and potential for some precipitation early in the morning. But otherwise, we could get lucky with some clearer breaks to see the eclipse. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is going to be generally warm with potential showers on Thursday. Anyway, have a great weekend and week ahead and make those plans to see this solar eclipse.